a Hoover Junior U1104 from the mid to late 80s. We'll have a look in a bit. This came from the same house as the Kenwood A640 vacuum cleaner. Yes, they were both on eBay. I offered £5 for this and I think that is fair and reasonable because it looks pretty good. It looks fairly complete. We are going to have to go parts hunting before this thing will truly run though. So, let's get it cleaned up a little bit. Let's have a look at what it is and how it works and if it works. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and Hoover chums. How are you today? Yeah, couldn't leave this behind. It would have only gone to the tip. And yeah, it looks pretty complete. We have the remains. I imagine it's probably too far gone to be worth saving. Of the Bulldog made in the Britain sticker. The handle topper, a common point of failure on one of these, is intact and lovely. So yeah, I mean, so far, things are so good. Oh yeah, these are non-movable cord hooks. So let's, oh gosh, let's start taking this apart because there are a few problems with it, none of which is going to be particularly bad for us. I mean, we can also start by cutting things off because this is how the cable is held on and oh, all that tape for that, <laughs> can't even see it, all that tape for that little break in the flex there. So that's, that is interesting. And I think for our purposes, we are just going to cut that off there and connect it back up later. We do also have a very nice Volex plug. Eh, lovely. Excellent. So that's shell, oh, what's, oh no, that's just a bit of tape that's left over from that repair. This probably is the original flex as well. So I'd imagine we're going to be sadly removing some original terminals from down there. So now that we can come down just a little bit further, we shall take off this pretty disgusted bag. Oh, that's not broken and has a nice snap to it. Oh, under here. There we go. Pull that up and off that comes. Yeah, this is probably going to have to be washed. It looks a little bit iffy. It's also got a full bag in it, so that's a pain. But we can now get to here, and yeah, this is this is missing its nut from the front. We have the rest of it here. Hang on, let's just let's just get to this bit. Ah, there we go. Yeah, this is the half that we need. So this goes in there. I mean, but you can always pretend that it has a flex. There we go. And um, we need to find the front part to it which is fine we have one of those let's get a bit closer look at the bag emptied first before we move on to the machine ah what lies inside of here is the zip completely seized up oh it is oh brilliant yeah i mean if it wasn't down there i can see that it's going to be up there oh no yeah oh one seized it which is already coming apart. Ah, well, that's not a great thing. We're going to have to get a bit, a bit extreme with this now. Oh, oh. Well, we got the bag open. I didn't even mean to do that. The whole thing is rotten, completely and utterly rotten. So it's going to be safety pins for this one. Oh, my goodness, that is disgusting. So... It's had a bag breakage, which is no surprise. It's had a bag breakage and the fill tube isn't even really part of this. And that's going to that's gonna impede performance a little bit. Let's get that emptied and cleaned up a little bit.
Well, it's a shame about the zip, but I mean, the rest of the bag isn't in bad condition. I mean, oh yeah, it's all just, it's just falling apart completely. So who knows, might be able to get it fixed. Whether it's worth it or not, I'm not sure. The bellows are starting to tear. It's a bit of a shame. And the belt, well, the ring that held the bag on is, look, it's a actual Hoover. 1334, blah, 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 super belt. Yeah, that's probably worth it on its own because this is one of the era of belts that hopefully won't snap. So we'll keep that. It can have something else on it. But yeah, it's a big shame that that zip is broken because the writing is really good on here and the rest of the bag isn't torn. So yeah, I'm going to wash it, see how well it comes up with washing and maybe see if it's worth getting another zip fitted. If not, you can just safety pin the back up and it doesn't really matter. But there's no point doing any of that really until we've had a look at this. And yeah, this is filthy, dirty, full of cobwebs, full of spiders. I want to get it cleaned up. cool look i've just found the missing part to our handle bail that's marvelous so we do have it all sadly again on this era of juniors oh, hey. the paint is starting to flake off of the handle bail and probably won't survive too much more and i would imagine that if i were to try and take this rubber gasket off of the side of here it too would split so yeah it's starting to have a few common issues with it but underneath <laughs> looks very good he says i haven't rotated anything yet that's quite soft bit of a shame there are however no rear wheel so we shall move on to those let us tidy and then start taking apart Let's see what jumps out underneath door number two. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, lots of things have been living in here. Oh yeah, look, there's the same time stuff that was in the camera. I don't really like in here. Now I can touch it and feel a little bit safer. We can see U1104 from November 1988. And we are missing the wheel circlip on this side. It is present there, but not present here. Fair enough. Oh, goodness. Then we can see the reefer suppressor, which is next to come out. But next to it, lots of green corrosion. And this style of fuse, fuse box, circuit box, is an absolute sod for corroding its terminal. So, ah, there we go. Wow, look, it, it hasn't blown, but it is cracking. The thing that kills so many electronics that you can see it starting to crack. I mean, we could replace it. We're not going to. Are you going to give it up focusness? Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Uh, we're not replacing it. We're just going to leave it out. Oh, yes, this was the original cable. I knew it was a sort of creamy colour. 
because sadly that they're well no well might not be actually they're not the Hoover terminals unless again Hoover in the eighties had changed what screw terminals they used. I don't care, we're about to change them ourselves. We're not even going to use terminals, so whatever it did. Then we can take oh goodness me. These out and pull our broken cable through. Right, marvellous. So things are spinning. That is the brush roll that is spinning. Uh oh. The motor is not doing anything. Um uh -oh. Uh -oh. I do sense a little bit of water damage on this machine. Is it worth fixing or not? I don't know. Uh -oh. oh dear. Um. Blimey, yeah. Problem is, the metal screw goes into a metal bracket, which is down there. So, big pain in the bum. And we had to get the big toys out. So, that's that. Obviously, I now need to take off the belt cover, which also needs a screw. Oh, it is turning. Now, I wonder why our motor so seized up. And it shouldn't be terminal anyway. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Lovely. Take that off. Wow. <laughs> that belt is like plastic. <laughs> it is. Like plastic. I can't work out if it's a genuine Hoover belt either. But they think it is. Well, that's the old star hoover script and then it does all this yeah i don't think that's a genuine flat belt belt but that's not our primary concern in the minute ah no excellent the most of dustbin fantastic i don't think that belt is going to be of any use at all or no especially not and the problem is actually this brush roll bearing here who would have thought it i mean ew, we can get rid of all of this. I don't want to clean it up too much before it runs, but equally there's no point us just getting on with it and it not running at all anyway. <sighs> wow. Oh, blimey, we are going in for full on brush roll fixing. Ah. Okay, so that comes out of there. We can push this bearing out and yeah it's not completely seized up but it's quite seized up so it's, oh, i've already got some oil excellent wonder why i thought we'd need that this won't be the same as factory greasing them but it will help a lot although i think it's going to need just to be run for this so oh blow me where's ah is it all gone? Here it is. Let's dribble some oil into all of these. I now need to go find a new belt. And we'll put it back together. And I'll wire it up. And we'll fit a bag to the broken bag. And we'll see if this thing works. Right. Who knows how long this thing has not run for. Who knows if the fuse even works in the plug. <laughs> No, oh, this it does. There we go. Yeah, that runs fine. Oh, it's a floppy. Right now, we can put some effort into both finding a belt 
finding the wheels and finding a circuit. Our rear wheel situation is getting better. I found a second circuit that it should have, although it's a little bit loose. So we should give it a squeeze with some pliers. Yes, Peanut, we will. There we go. So that now looks, oh yeah, I then found these in there for like new 1334 wheels. They're nothing too special, but again, just good enough to sit on here. Ah, where's our other circuit? A bit difficult to get on there. There we go. It's just good enough to sit here and provide some wheels for our wagon. I think we've got a spare washer there so you can go away. Marvellous. So our cable is in. We know that the machine works because that is what we've just done. Let me get this screw back together and then I found a belt. We can fit that and the brush off. Just do the first switch on with the brush rod together, in case I've got the belt on the wrong way around. I have. Did you get that way around? It's firing stuff everywhere. That means it works very well indeed. Right, now we need to find a bag for the bag. And with our fill tube cable tied very crudely to the top of the bag, we can see if this thing is going to hoover once more. really really well I've never been a huge fan of the 80s juniors but this one this one works superb if it wasn't for that bag which I mean doesn't matter so much but if it wasn't for that bag it would look really really good I might have to try and find a bag for it now and see if we can make this hold once more so I think it's now going to be able to have this restoration. I think it's a worthy candidate for renovation. These flat belt juniors are getting quite rare, so it'd be good to do another one up. And get it working really well. We can wind the cable up now without any broken bits of tape. And yeah, yeah I'm quite happy with that for a fiver. It works superbly well. It probably would have fired up just fine, but yeah, I don't trust these reefers 
for anything again. The one in the Kenwood had blown. And yeah, just like the Kenwood, once we repaired, and again, I'm sure we could have probably just turned it straight on, but we checked the cable first. It worked well. So, would you like to see this again, or should I just get rid of it as a working hoover and move on to the next thing? What do you think? Let me know down below. But until the next time, I am some other heroic hoover. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.